Yeah, there might be something wrong with me. I have now completed every reticle challenge in the base game of World War II. When I set out on this journey, it was for fun. It was something to do for some extra challenge XP along the way. I had a tiny hope in the back of my mind that there might be something at the end, but I did not at all expect the game to actually recognize the achievement. But here I was in some horde point. For some reason, the lens on the grease gun was the final thing I had to do. I needed a couple long shots and and thankfully some snipers are not very accurate. What are you doing, dude? Uh, so I got those done, then only needed a few headshots. I've been tracking my reticle progress. I knew this was the end. So it was a great feeling to see that reticle challenge icon come up. When suddenly, there was a second one. My heart did a backflip seeing that. Like, oh my god, they actually recognize reticle mastery. There is a secret challenge. What is this thing going to say? What did I get? Ah. Challenge Reticle Mastery, Challenge Reticle Mastery Desk. So I guess they never expected anyone to actually unlock this. It just has some placeholder variable text. It's cool that they made it a thing, but I guess they forgot about it or meant to cut it out. Although maybe not, this game does have a few text bugs still lying around. And if I recall, way back when I got Diamond SMGs, I had a very similar thing come up for the SMG Camo Mastery Challenge. Anyway, after that game, you can see I did get the standard 10,000 XP for a mastery challenge. The description is uh, sadly the same in here. And after looking around for any sort of reward, I couldn't find anything. Like, I looked for a special mastery reticle on all the different sites, nothing like that. Uh, not that I would even want that, because I would never use it. I generally like the iron sights and prefer using different attachments, so now that I'm done with the challenges, I won't be using many sights. But I kept looking, maybe there was a different chrome cam variant but that's a no as well so I don't think I actually got anything for this but I was expecting not even acknowledgement so it's honestly really cool that something popped up I know it sounds stupid but a single bugged challenge pop-up has made me very happy I like this game more because of it it's no secret this game kind of suffers in the completion reward department with Chrome not being that great especially before it was updated and with no overall 100% challenge tracker and nothing for maxing the divisions, even though that barely took any time at all, but also not much for Master Prestiges. They're still working on that in June. So I was expecting nothing at all for doing the reticles. But amazingly, there is actually something there, even if it's half broken and doesn't give you anything. In my dreams, maybe once I get Chrome Tiger, which will be way faster than this reticle thing. If you don't know about it, Chrome Tiger entails getting the Weapon Prestige 4 Gold Cheetah Camo Challenge done for every weapon, plus already having Chrome. So I'm hoping Chrome Tiger, plus the Reticle Mastery Challenge, will unlock something like a Chrome Scale Camo, because I remember there was a Chrome Crocodile or a Chrome Disco Ball type of thing leaked months ago, just found through modifying the game. It has never actually been unlocked, as far as I know, and being a Chrome Variant type of thing, it would really suck if they just threw that in supply drops, so I'm going to hold out hope that, just maybe, that or something similar could be awarded involving Reticle Mastery mastery but I'm aware that is a real long shot I'm sure I'm not the first person to get the reticle mastery thing because I just can't be I started working towards it pretty late I know you have to be pretty crazy to go for it at all but I know there are those types of players out there that said I've never seen any mention of this secret challenge or any video so I was certainly surprised by it it also saves me having to go through every reticle to try to prove that I did everything so that's much appreciated I guess I should briefly explain what I mean by all the challenges in case you aren't familiar, the reticle challenges are different for every site on every weapon, and they each entail first getting 500 ADS kills, and those challenges will all add up to 10,000 XP, and then getting 25 headshots, 10 long shots, 20 double kills, and 10 5 kill streaks, all while looking through the site, which will also add up to another 10,000 XP, so 20k XP per site, and for weapons like most ARs that have a lens, a reflex, and an ACOG, you would need to do that three times for every weapon. It's very time consuming and a little frustrating when it comes to stuff like the toggle action and sawed off bloodthirsties the weapons aren't that bad much better than when I went for chrome with them but when you're forced to get every kill of the kill streak while ADS especially for the toggle action that makes it much more annoying getting toggle action streaks is actually super easy when you can be hip firing for the base hit damage rather than trying to aim and hit all the pellets which barely helps 
Anyway, what a journey it has been going through all the reticle challenges, and it earned me an extra 1.12 million challenge XP along the way, and that'll keep growing with the DLC weapons as well. So that's no joke, I have a total of about 34 million XP at this prestige level. The reticle XP would make up about 3% of that. Well, I hope that was all interesting. Maybe some people knew about that secret challenge, but I sure didn't. I assume most people didn't. The next goal is that Chrome Tiger, which, as I said, will be a lot easier. Here is the good old spreadsheet I've been using to track everything. You can make a copy of it with the link in the description if you want it. And some people have been asking for a prestige recap update type of thing, so now seems like a good time after hitting that milestone. This all looks much better now with all that wonderful green, and I added a line separating base weapons from the add-ons. Most of the DLC weapons I have not touched. Like even the previous wave with the Type 5 and Type 38 and all that, I made sure to unlock them all, but I've yet to ever put them on a class, except for a bit with the ITRA since I had that heroic. But I mainly became much more interested in Reticle Mastery just to see if something would happen. DLC weapons don't really excite me all that much. They're neat, but the novelty wears off really quickly. I'm finding the Chrome Tiger grind now much more entertaining, and you can see I'm actually not that far off. It doesn't take much time at all compared to the the reticles. I know that getting triple kills with the double barrels is a big thing stopping some people from wanting to take on the challenge, but you can do it. Hustle is an absolute must and shipment is a big help. I already did the M30 because it's the best gun in the game despite somehow nobody knowing about that, while the sawed off is still a deep fried turd in comparison, but it does reload faster so it's not bad. I got to 20 out of 25 on those triple kills just while doing the red dot. The only other annoyance here was getting those launchers to prestige 4. It takes a while but since you don't need launched to have the launcher on there anymore, I've been having fun equipping a launcher on every class and just shooting down streaks again. And whenever there's a double weapon XP playlist, like over the recent Horde Point weekend, I used the launchers with launched a ton. And now they're both prestige 4, the Panzer Shrek is done, the bazooka double kills are more annoying with how common armor it is, but I'm not far off with that either, so I could be done the whole thing within a week or two. Anyway, at the bottom of this thing, I do have that overall challenge completion calculator, and that hasn't changed a whole lot. I'm still at 89% overall, mostly because I've been ignoring the DLC weapons, so those marksman challenges are really dragging things down, and also because I just haven't made these challenges a main goal. There are those gridiron passing challenges and that SND ninja challenge that I know I'm never going to want to do. They just won't be fun, and... If it's not fun, why bother? So no thanks, like there are still some easy challenges I could do to improve my percentage, like winning some of these modes, but I know I won't 100% it, so it's just not important to me this time around. I'm getting those easy ones done very slowly every time there's an order that makes me play that mode. Same thing with the headquarters 1v1s. I could just spend a few solid hours doing 1v1s, but that sounds very boring, so why do that? I'm just enjoying grinding out the weapons, although one big challenge category I did knock out since last time are are those tacticals, the 300 gas grenade kills, and of course, the 300 enemies blinded by with the signal flares. Finally done with that, but actually that happened a while ago now, and of course, they still haven't fixed that text. I wouldn't have it any other way. I guess I could include in this little recap, I did hit max social rank way back on April 23rd. They've made it much faster now with all those 250 score daily orders and the commend orders getting everyone to AFK in the HQ a couple times a week. I've been seeing much more people start to have that social rank title in the HQ. Here's the clip of hitting it, by the way. Back then with the uh, couple orders I saved up. There you go. No fanfare or anything, you just get that animated nameplate in the HQ. It doesn't even show up in pregame lobbies anymore, and I remember it did back before they reworked it. It wasn't animated back then, but it showed in the lobbies. So, pros and cons, and another thing that's kind of a letdown, but oh well. It's also a bummer that your score doesn't keep counting up, it just says maxed. I wish I knew what number I have now, cause then I could know when I'd be hitting max rank even without that 70,000 boost from having made a popular emblem. I think I think I'd be well over 300,000 score by now, with all the drops I've opened near people, and all the social score orders that I've continued to do anyway, cause after all they are still worth a sixth of a supply drop, since you get a free one every six orders you do, and throwing nades into tires, or clicking on the theater, or winning a 1v1 is all super quick, uh, so that is unfortunate that it doesn't keep counting up. 
Also, I guess I can summarize the little opening of saved up supply drops I did back on the weekend. No COD points, obviously, and I did tweet it out so some people could join, but it wasn't for a video. I've kind of had enough of supply drops. I did upload the full no commentary raw recording of it if you want to see that for some reason. I'll link that in the description. But I opened 300 commons and 100 rares to even out what I had, got plenty of duplicates, and also some new heroics for weapons that I already have a heroic for, so I guess it's cool to collect them all, but all I'm ever looking for is to get one heroic for every gun and to get the new stuff. So the things I would consider interesting that I got were this epic stinger LMG, the heroic for the sterling, I've gotten the epic royal decree like seven times, so nice to finally get this one. Uh, I got the heroic sword, legend maker, uh, the devastator, epic blunderbuss, which is actually really clean, it's the black and gold themed one, the prospector, epic lever action, the second horseman, epic nambu, which has an interesting inspect, throwing that thing around, then the sentinel heroic stinger, so screw that epic one earlier, and I did get the heroic face paint, but I think I think all the face paints look kind of dumb. Then the heroic Gewehr, an older weapon, but I've only had the epics before, so I'm happy about that. And finally, I got the Executioner epic sword, which, despite only being epic, is the one that has the world's longest inspect animation, longer than the old GPMG reload. It is truly ridiculous. It's still going. Anyway, I also completed a bunch more Operation Overlord collections for epics I don't care about, and I was able to complete two of the Undead collections for free, giving me the PTRS. The other collections would require buying a couple pretty expensive items, so I'll just wait on those and open the Undead bribes I have towards the end of the event, because I haven't opened any of those yet. So I will make sure to get that Fire Axe, that is the only new weapon I did not end up with after those 400 drops, and in total I gained 100,230 armory credits back from all that, averaging 250 credits back per drop, right in line with what you would expect with my very high duplicate rate these days. But remember, it is still worth spending 300 or 350 credits on those contracts for drops, not only because you may want to get heroics, but because of how much it takes to outright buy items. A duplicate epic may only give a few hundred back, but that isn't representative of the value of that item. It could cost 9,000 or 12,000 to buy it directly. So doing the contract and hoarding up drops is definitely worth it. Well, to wrap things up, we can take a quick tour through my stats at the moment, which have mostly plateaued with the amount of shipment I play these days, trying to use wacky weapons against LMG campers. But we're on the way to level 1000, 24 and a half days played, level 621, same as my stack of armory credits, that's a fun coincidence. I still don't believe level 1000 will happen, but it's looking more possible. We are around number 1600 in the world in the Who Has No Life competition, but onto the combat record, we should have a decent amount of kills with every weapon in the game now, although it really drops off a cliff with most of the DLC. Uh, yeah, and you can tell these kill counts all kind of reflect how many types of sights are available for each weapon. And the modes should be interesting. Time to show the real story when it comes to kills. Plenty of stuff like Horde Point now, not counting towards the main kill count. And my god, war mode. I thought with how much shipment I play now, it would start to come close to how much war I used to play, but apparently not. An extra 42k in war. Also a very impressive uh, hardcore search and destroy record, I know. Well, I think that's everything. I'll go get that Chrome Tiger real quick and see if anything special happens. I'll let you know. And then I can finally get to using some of those DLC weapons. So I won't even get to use Chrome Tiger after getting it. Feels bad. Uh, now that we're at the end here, I think the end is better than being annoying at the beginning. I'll just say sorry for randomly disappearing for several weeks. Life happens. Turns out there are some things more important than Call of Duty videos. Crazy, I know, but everything will be fine, don't worry about it. And on top of that, I've been kept pretty busy by these couple of summer courses as well, and then I got sick too. I'm sure I still sound like it a little bit. But yeah, I took a bit of a break, not that my upload schedule has ever been consistent. I'm just having fun here, but just so you know, I'm still here, not going anywhere. With that, thanks for sticking around and thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Great nice hack, Sour. Nice hack, bud. Good hack, Sour. Nice fucking aim bud. Good job.